for only the second time in the history of California, there will be no salmon season this year. State officials have issued a ban on salmon fishing as the population of Chinook and Coho all along the coast have dwindled to a mere fraction of historic returns. The culprits? Climate change, drought, ocean conditions, and without a doubt, loss of habitat. Dams block access to critical habitat and are a major threat to salmon and steelhead recovery. While dams play an essential role in managing water in California, many aging dams have outlived their functional lifespan. They've become obsolete. Beyond degrading the watershed for fish, tribes, and communities, many are public safety hazards and greenhouse gas emitters, contributing to global warming. I spent a good part of my career removing barriers to salmon and steelhead migration in the Eel River and throughout the North Coast. Like many California rivers, the Eel River was once home to abundant populations of salmon and steelhead, but those runs are currently at just 5% of historic numbers. Over the last few years, we've made progress. We've taken out barriers created by the Northwest Pacific Railroad Line, by an old experimental fish hatchery on a really important cold water tributary, and by tide gates blocking access into highly productive slough channels in the estuary. Combined, we've opened up over 25 miles of habitat for salmon and steelhead. But the largest barriers still remain, PG&E's Potter Valley Project Dams, Scott Dam and Cape Horn Dam, that block access to 288 miles of cold water habitat in the headwaters of the Eel. The dams are no longer serving their purpose of creating energy, and PG&E no longer wants them. These dams are obsolete, and it's time for them to go. Caltrot is leading efforts to remove these dams and restore the watershed from its headwaters to the sea. Caltrot is urgently working on removing dams and large barriers across the state to revitalize our rivers and build climate resiliency for everyone that depends on healthy watersheds. We need to create a new era of transformative change. From freeing the Santa Margarita River from headwaters to the ocean for our southern steelhead, to working with California State Parks on the plan to remove Ringe Dam on Malibu Creek, filled with sediment for over 50 years and decommissioned since 1967. Continuing our work with Patagonia and the Surfrider Foundation to remove Matillaha Dam on the Ventura River, a sediment-clogged public safety hazard that's blocking 17 miles of habitat. Keeping the pressure on to remove Searsville Dam, opening up miles of habitat through and above the Stanford campus. Leading on the removal of another hydroelectric project that, like the Potter Valley project, PG&E is walking away from. This complex of seven dams is on Battle Creek and has been determined to be critical habitat for the recovery of highly endangered winter run Chinook. And last, but certainly not least, preparing for the largest dam removal in U.S. history, with four dams on the Klamath River being removed by the summer of 2024. We need to create a new era of transformative change, of finding better solutions, nature-based solutions to our environmental issues. And as the largest freshwater restoration organization in the state, Caltrot is leading the way. Removing these 17 barriers will open up six watersheds and restore access to 750 miles of habitat. Help Caltrot restore these rivers. Help me restore the eel, and let's get these obsolete dams out.